Hello everybody! Fear my game to the next part of the Battletech play. As you can see, we're one day away from bankruptcy. I made some questionable financial decisions and now we're about to suffer the consequences. But we're going to be launching the mission. Good side. That is what we're going to do. Downside is I think we are down a mech. Which means that we're now doing a three bad job right now. So let's see how all well this goes. That's the last time we lost somebody. Unfortunately, the uh, the, uh, the other mechs aren't done, gonna be done with their repairs until after we go bankrupt. So we kinda need to do a bit of a rush job. <laughs> Awkward. Well, on the bright side, only one person may die. <laughs> We'll see how all this goes. The pay will be enough to stop us from going bankrupt, though. We just kind of have to hope that we can safely make it to our next... We might need to take a couple of jobs here before we can go on to the main mission. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So we need to destroy the, con the supply convoy and escape. Destroy the convoy guards. So it's a pretty high... High... Takes job. Whoops, begin mission. Alright. Let's do this! Alright, Commander. Our goal is to track down the convoy. So, let's scout out the target area. We found the convoy. We stop it from reaching its destination. Then we make our way to the evac zone. Get Commander. Well, last time I did a job like this, I, I lost a dude. What am I thinking taking another one of these jobs? I am not thinking things through, apparently. Alright. So the enemy's goal. So wait, is this. This is the route. Where is their goal? Where. At what point do they escape? Oh, over there. It's still the enemy's turn, apparently. We don't know what's going on, but apparently they took a while. So we've spotted some of them, it looks like, over here. See, they're still moving about. We don't see them. Apparently we can tell that there's some people over there. But nothing, but I guess they, I think the convoy is over here somewhere. What does this do? It's rough terrain, I don't want that. Got it. Got it. We've made contact with the enemy. That looks like a mech and the convoy. Where's long range? Is, is this long range right there, that far end? Or is this long range? Nah, I should have jumped a well. But we caught sight of the enemy max. We found two max and a vehicle. So it looks like the max trying to engage us. We have a locust. He's uh, he's injured as well. Oof! I looked a bit. That looked that looked like painful. Commando unit. Oh, thankfully, she's not been injured at all. All right, third mech incoming. She's thinking it's a quiet beating. Oh, that looked bad, but she seems okay. Okay, she looks okay. But now there's a fourth mech incoming. We're outnumbered, but that will not stop us. 
Can she? I, I forget. I, I hope I can jump in fire because that's what I want to do. Up high. So high chance of hitting with all of her st with most of her stuff here. Uh, okay chance of hitting everything here and low chance there. I'm honestly more scared of these scorpions honestly than anything else. After what happened last time. Yeah, they have LRMs. And so we're all within LRM range. But I think if I can blow beat this guy a bit more effectively, that makes me more comp confident. But, oh, this is hard. Let's go with this one. Fire! Didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, if I'm being entirely honest. Alright. Glitch, you, you are big DPS. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Okay. LRM, this is the best targets right here. I'll be back in just one second, guys. Once this is done. Yes! Destroy! There's nothing like overkill. Alright, I'll be back in just a second. Sorry about that. Alright. Medusa's turn. He's our, one of our big damage boys, too. Move him up one. Because I think there'll be more to options for shooting people. So that is the highest chance of killing stuff is over here, is that convo right there. And I'm officially terrified of the convos now, so I want to blow it up as much as I can. Perfect destroyed! That one's gone. Yeah, the mechs aren't the scary things, it's the f damn vehicles and all their LRMs. Looks like I missed almost every shot, though. Burning gel. Ooh, what is that? Alright, now the enemy's gonna get a big barrage against us. Hopefully. Not too bad. Ooh, now the Centurion's getting blasted. And he doesn't seem to be quite as tanky as Shadowhawk. Oof. Ha! Send me a real opponent. But I'm glad you feel that way, Glitch. I'm still nervous. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Fuck him up! Heading out. Putting my weight into it. Ooh. Didn't kill him, but damn, that was good damage. Good to go. That one's in range of her LRMs. If I, I can move her. Tell about you. You can hit that guy pretty well. Fire! Not enough to destroy him, but... Definitely enough to mess him up a bit. Let's see, I want to finish this one off. He scares me. Fuck him up! Yeah! That's a kill. Only downside is now she's back to two of the enemy mechs, so she's going to be exposed, but at least we killed one of the mechs. And we wounded one of the carrot, one of the uh, one of the vehicles too. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now he's almost at his heat thing now. Damn, that thing's so strong. So now he can't fire next turn because of that burning gel stuff. I need a. One thing we definitely need to do is I need to get into melee range. 
I was like short range with the, with my guys. I think it's the best way to deal with that burning gel stuff. So what's that javelin gonna do? Oof. Come on. Damn it. I've got an armor breach. Alright. Glitch. Fuck him up. On my way. Ugh. Yeah. Standing by. So I want to move her first before I fire. So she has LR one LRM, which is her main thing of damage. So I want to be careful with how I move here. Let's see, if I fire now, what's the chance of hitting with everything? I have a really good chance of actually hitting with everything. I copy. Perfect, another vehicle destroyed. One for the scrap. And this guy, he's taking a decent amount of damage. I think the best thing to do with him... For this on the, on the distance. Now I'm having him sprint into melee range. This might be a little dangerous because he might get punched, but I think it's the best thing to do. On the move. Full speed. Get him, like, make it so it's harder for those LRMs to hit him. He still seems to be doing the most amount of damage. This could be a very bad decision, tactically speaking, but I hope for the best. Alright, that didn't seem to really hurt him. Not much armor left in that location. What are you gonna do, Mr. Javi Boy? Your frat you've been punched, beaten up, but not defeated. Oh he's losing a lot of health. That shot got past my armor. Right, what are you gonna do, Locust? You can move far. We're almost at that last final one, the Bulldog. Alright, come on. Finish him! They didn't finish him. Never mind. I had hoped he was finish him, but I was wrong. Alright, let's see. Can you fire at him and kill him? I have a decent chance of hitting him, but I won't kill him. What if I move here? Fire! Not enough to kill him, but it did at least wound him. So I think I'm going to move this guy into melee and have him punt. So that guy looks pretty weak. I think... He can't really fire, I think, with that with all that heat he has, really, effect at least effectively. I may have accidentally told him to fire. I don't think I did, though. Knockdown, too. Perfect. Unfortunate that, I, that he'll get up on his next turn and won't really do much anything. But there we go. Heat's dr dropped for him, which is perfect. This guy's getting closer to the Denizile zone, but I think we can get him. I'm under heavy fire here. I know, Medusa, but there's not much we can do about it. We're kind of understaffed and low on money right now. We gotta just make do with what you got. Unfortunately, we have to pay to repair that. They're really trying to focus fire this guy down. Alright. Okay, so Behemoth, you fuck him up.
Oh! He didn't actually get up before that. Oh, that's my bad. You sure my jump jets on oh, asshole? At least more, at least one. Ah! This was the first time I hit with the melee attack too. Show that little guy who's boss. Yes. He's almost in position, though. I don't think we'll make it in time. Maybe we will. Oh, that centurion that was getting so beat up. I'm amazed the guy's still alive. I think she's gonna be the best to finish this guy off. At least I hope she is. Mm. As much as I hoped. Now I need to get Medusa and the Centurion to try and blow that ship, that thing that's running away. No, did he? Hopefully, he didn't lose his LRMs. Oh no, he doesn't have the movement. Dang it. That's unfortunate. Racing. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Hmm. Maybe I didn't need to. maybe I could have held off on the bracing there. That was my bad. Mike, I think he's gonna get away. Because of that choice I made. So he fired at the Centurion but missed. He's probably gonna fire at the Centurion as well. <gasps> he got to move because of that. Perfect! Alright. Make sure he doesn't die. Fire! It wasn't destroyed though. She's going. He's actually going for the Vindicator, not the one of my weaker targets. That guy is very unstable right now. Oh, never mind. He did go for the Centurion after all. Damn, that mech is almost destroyed. Look how much damage it has on it. I'm not surprised you've taken inter in internal damage. That looked like it hurt. I have an LRM and an S and a SRM. I'm worried about getting too close. I'm hoping this is close enough. I wish it would tell me. I think, okay, perfect, that's good. Got it. Fire! Perfect. And finish this guy off too with a melee attack. Boom, shakalaka! Wrecked mate! We did it, three man easy mode. Sure, the Centurion nobles died, but we're okay. Commander, the area has been cleared. Taurus has given me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Easy clap. We came, we saw, we conquered! And now we're no longer in the red. House Liao has always believed one thing, Commander. Victory at any cost. But it seems you also understand this vital lesson. We are pleased you performed so well. So, I think we need to... So this is the only thing we desperately need to repair, it looks like. This one, the other two don't seem to be that bad poorly off. Yeah, Shadow caught the most kills. He got one kill. But he did, he did, he stopped weakening the enemy at least. So good on you, Medusa there. And Behemoth got three kills. So I want 
So I want a command. I want definitely want one of the salve at least one of the salvages here. So this is I want the one which everyone seems like it's stronger in terms of like muscles. I don't want anything that's light, so I definitely would rather have the stronger one. Well they're all light, I guess. Uh heat efficiency versus firepower. Heat efficiency, firepower, durability. They all may what's the melee strength on each of these? So the javelin has been a bit more strength than it. So I guess over the javelin is my priority here. And then I think what I'm gonna do here is I want the heat sink as a priority. Because those have been destroyed. We got a bolt. We got the other javelin piece, the locust, the one lasers, and a jump jet. Those will replace. Hopefully, replace that one that we lost. All right. So one bright side is, is that we now have enough money to deal with the fact that we are about that, uh, with our with our finances. So at least there is that. And on the bright side is we're about to be, I think we should be a-okay to repair everything here. Fortunately, we lost that jump jet, but thankfully we did get a new jump jet to replace it. Uh, he is go he's good on the SRM. Does he have SRM ammo? Yes, he does have SRM ammo. Okay. Um, I'm glad I chose to make sure that let's see, AC ammo. He does have AC ammo. All right, he's good then. Confirm. What? What does this want me to do? Oh yeah, it's been told me that I have something on it that I don't need. Oh yeah, it tells me told me an SRM ammo, but I don't have an SRM on it. And I can't replace the LRM for it, so I'm gonna just take off the SRM ammo. And instead, what's what do I have left? What's a snub PPC? Oh yes. It makes it too heavy, though. Say, how much can I draw? How much does it drop if I get rid of all of this stuff? Not quite enough. So if I move a jump jet. And then a one of my short range lasers. I can then put the snub PPC for big fuck you melee weapon. Go pew! Right, right. I think that'd be pretty nice. And have the one LRM just in case. Or I could actually remove the LRM instead, and then have a bunch of. Uh, Short range, right? Many short range, and then set a bunch of short range missiles and have her just really be focused on going in ham on the enemy. So, what's my best short? I only have an SRM2. And then I get some mini, I get a minigun with some minigun ammo. And then I get a. I already have a short, and then I need my SRM ammo, I have my SRM ammo, and then at that point I have enough room for an extra heat sink. And I can put back on the jump jet, and still have room to spare apparently. Apparently it's an SMG or the S laser, which does me leave me under, under, does put me underweight though is the problem with that idea. So I'm just going to keep what she has already leaving on the LRM ammo taking that off and that back off and then that back off and then I can take off that heat sink I just put on perfect which so the big problem right now is that all of our mechs are going to be gone for a little while but we will want to take up a new job because we need the money desperately right now So we will almost be there. The payout is quite nice, and we will be there in a reasonable time frame. But let's see, we could do some easy local jobs in the meantime, though. So we have it with the planetary governments and with the seat and with the others. We have what is this one? It's a star. 
honored. Oh, the Arano restoration. So wait, is this different from First Strike? Wait, this is the same location, isn't it? It is the same location. Weird. Okay. So it looks like when we get there, we have two jobs waiting for us. That's interesting. They have beefed up security. So there's some stuff that we can do is... Hmm, I guess the idea of me just doing some easy jobs in the meantime might not be worth it. If we kept two missions waiting for us at Weldry, we might as well go for it. So this is basically the big step that's going to put us into the war path right now. So I guess we'll take this one and start traveling there. Um, and that'll also give us some time for our mechs to get repaired. Because we need that. I know we are expecting, you know, problems, but... I think I think this mission should pay us enough to make it. And I'll be back from being out of action, too. Mechs. Uh, mech warriors. I also have upgrades, I think, for my character's glitch. I so I can get her upgrade of getting base weapon hit. I can get her the next level to give her better melee, which I'm honestly a big fan of that idea. Because I've been having the melee regularly now, because melee is actually really strong. <laughs> Though this guy, I still want to be the guy who stays in the back. Um, so I'm not really all that interested in necessarily having him have increased melee. So, I, so this is re it reduced minimum range. I actually like this one. I think I'm going to make this guy gunnery and tactics. And when I get a trebuchet, I plan to put it on this guy. Behemoth, of course. I already like what she has here. I do like the idea of the lower minimum range for her, too. But this is not a... Wait, this... Is, oh! So I can still upgrade in, the, in those particular tiers. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I'm going to hold off on using your experience points for until our next level. I want to see what the more options I can get. Glitch doesn't have anything left over yet. And of course, nobody else has, has a... And you... Well, actually, what does this one give? Apparently, you need something. But I'm going to... Now let's continue moving on to the next part. We have Locust. I'm probably about to be finished. The Locust is the least important one. Unfortunately... Can I, I might have to cancel some of my the other jobs. I might pop when I finish with it when this finishes. I may pause it see if I can cancel some of the other jobs I don't need as much. Like if I don't need blackjack fix, I'd rather have vindicator ready. I'd rather have the centurion ready. So mech based stuff. Can I change the pri or I want to change the priorities here. So if I stop work here, I only be I won't be refunded all my money. Dang it! Oh well, we'll just have to live with it. I kind of noticed that. Thank you. That's why we're heading to a mission that apparently has a very good payout. Though we won't have our best mechs, which is what concerns me right now. Alright. We're almost to Weldry. After Weldry, I think we just need to wait for... I, I know, I know, you you schmuck. I know. Once the Blackjack is ready, we'll be able to go to our mission. We'll be... It'll be a little bit weaker than I like, but it'll, it just has to be done. We won't be quite... We won't be as strong as a, of a group. We won't be ready for the contract immediately. Uh, not yet. We have to wait until the Blackjack's done in two turns, in two days. I know, but thank you for stopping it for me because I was waiting for that to happen. Alright, so now we can launch the contract. What time is it though? Thirty. We have time, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be a long mission. First strike in Orbit Weldery. Alexia Madera. If you guys remember the voice I use, I, I'm going to do... Nobody complained about it in the comment section, so we're just going to bring it back. Well, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Oregon Reach... Everything about this place is hostile to human life. For the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground 
for his political enemies. I honestly love. He looks such a well put together guy, and then I just use this ridiculous voice for him. I love it. This is now Orano. The director has a prison complex on the planet surface. The inmates call it the ice box. And then the view screen showing the image of an opposing structure appears on your view screen as the solid, heavy walls that you come to associate with Torian architecture. There's a little picture of it here. Not the easiest thing to see, but hmm, interesting. It's, it's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding family, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have set them free, not just for political gain, but because they're our people, and we need your help to do it. Aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? I need to know what I'm about to send my lance into. What makes Waldry so inhospitable? You've got an army. What do you need us for? It's as if, I'm kind of curious, like, how it'll, how it'll change everything. But I might, I might actually ask the, first, the second question first, what, the, what they're about to get us into. Uh, now, everything from the sub-zero climate to the inedible vegetation, the whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called ransom mosquitoes. Imagine the colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. Are you dropping infantry there on purpose? That's Yang, by the way. The army will be safe. Population centers like the icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Vertinen. And I'll ask, aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? Well, there are different kinds of power at Fearmine. The founding houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but the words still carry weight into your organ reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. You're not wrong there. My uncle has hardline supporters everywhere. The ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition, but the remaining members of the founding council will rally their people against the directorate if given the chance. By freeing Welder, we will give them that chance. You've got an army! What do you need us for? The subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you'll sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding fa families in our debt all in one fell swoop. So, from our background as an Inner Sphere mercenary, Reminds me of a supply raid I went on in the Inner Sphere. That was a good plan, too. Right up until we made contact with the enemy. <laughs> my understood, my lens of trap. I like that one. I like it. <laughs> I like I like the sass of that one. I do understand what you're saying, Fremai. And the chaos of ba the battle is one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You and Mastiff improvised on Cora Modir, and you got me there through the coop alive. I'll be counting on you to use that same adaptability on Weltry should the need arise. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, fear my. Give my uncle's troops the hell that they have earned. After the director of presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we will regroup to celebrate our victory. Okay. All right, so we only have four mechs. We have the BJs, and there's only, and then so basically with the BJ, we have our pilot character. Honestly, Flatjack might be better on this guy here. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of giving any of these guys what to have them on right now. Well, I believe in you. Don't die. This is the way the Locust only has machine guns right now. I am concerned. And only two M lasers. Okay, this is got this is gonna be very interesting. I feel like I need to fix. Okay, so I think the locust might actually be might actually be useless. Apparently it doesn't have ammo for MGs. This is a problem. This is a real problem. At 
least it can try. Like, we may lose people today, and it will be my fault. <laughs> this is it. Oh. We've already read that one. Hard to believe we're going to war against the directorate. I don't know about you, but from my perspective, it's a long overdue. Make them pay for what they took from us. Make it hurt. I will also make it not hurt us, too. There are two entrances in the complex here, my commander. Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. Battlemech's defenses should be practically nil, as predicted. Lady Arana's preemptive strike has already drawn the prisoners' prison standard gar garrison away. I'm seeing vehicles and turrets on my screen. Nothing you can't handle. Clear away the opposition to capture the prison. Lady Arana and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. So, let's see. From our perspective, what do we see? We see... No, I want to see what that is. Military building, military building, turret generator. So we need to destroy these turret generators is what we need to do. I think anything up but destroying those turret generators will be a bad idea, so we need to go this way. Preferably in cover. Got it. I'm nervous about sending her up ahead of herself, but she's my best scouting character. She's my scouting character. On it. Oh wait, she oh no, she's in the spider. The other guy was my scouting character. Oops. I kind of got the confused about who 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 is who again. Oh my! Hopefully nothing happens. So what are these? I see turret generator, turret generator, turret generator, prison gate. I don't see the turrets themselves though. All right, so glitch. Can you? How can you jump you up here yet and fire? So she can't fire, I guess, after jumping. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Get her nicely into cover and able to fire, hopefully. Here we go. Picked up a blip. Unknown turret. Jumping. Get them all up here to blow up the turret generator and maybe get them into a decent spot. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have this guy sprint and try and Understood. get see what the situation is over here. Wait, that's a woman? No, this woman's position. Well, that's a lot of turrets. This is the one. Prison gates on either side are going to be your best point of entry to the complex. Blow them down, make your way inside, or jump the walls if you land capable of it. Your call. If everyone except for the uh, my locust here can jump. So we will destroy some of the turret generators. So I get the feeling that most of my turrets, my, my guys won't be able to blow, actually blow up the turret itself. But I don't I think this won't stop too much, but we'll try. Alright. I'm going to try and make use of the cover here as best I can. Yeah, she can't fire at all. Oh, I'm sorry, Blip. I did not mean to put you into this bad of a position. Heading out. I'm gonna brace her. I'm not gonna put her out to die by yourself. Alright. All right, so she actually can't do anything except jump up. And we'll get you over here. And you could fire. I could do t probably two targets. Multi target. And then B. And then this. So this one is. Which one's A? Which one's B? So I think this one. How much. How much health does this one have? So this way. Which one's B? Which one's A? I'm confused! Alright, so A and then B. I think that'll be good. Yeah, they have a hundred health. Let's do that. No problem. I've got enough gun for everyone. Ah, 
that didn't quite do as much damage as, as I was expecting, if I'm being entirely honest. So that one's moving a little bit. So this one's the blackjack. I gave it the, a bunch of ACs, though it doesn't have as much ammunition as it used to. As much, as much AC. Um, and just hopefully the newly changed blackjack will be able to serve you well. Okay, let's do multi-target. So let's see, 50 damage. Which one looks a bit more injured? I think this one. Let's do the, uh, something like that might be good. Roger that. Perfect on that one. Perfect. So I don't know which turrets we just destroy. Oh, it just looks like we might have destroyed these turrets here. I need to get Blip, I think, to a better, safer place. She's not, even though she has cover and she braced, she still is in danger here. I want to get her more over to the right side. Oof, that one actually did some real work on her. I'm really not a big fan of these Blips, of these Locust stuff. I'm going to fall her back for now. She's actually a bit of dead weight in this mission. I did not consider that. Um, back her up here and hope for the best. Give her some evasion charges too. My behemoth, I need to, I think actually to jump to move, right? No, she can move it normally, okay. So if we destroy these turret generators, too bad I don't have anything that makes things go kablooey, or else I could just get rid of these turrets without any issues, but. Nothing I can do about it. You can't hit. I don't think she hit anything, so let's just braze. Glitch should have the, is the only one I think has the long range missiles right now, but she can't move. She can only jump right now. What is this? I don't think destroying military buildings will actually do anything, will it? Okay, is there anything I can attack here? No. What does this do? It, uh, with any evasion charge, it also gets some, some sensor problems. I don't think I can do that on any of them, though. Can I? That doesn't look like it. We'll just brace. There's no overwatch mode either to fire things that get into range, so. Just a little bit. Alright, well, Medusa, you're in the blackjack. Hopefully, it's, you, hopefully it serves you better than its original master. Thankfully, the original master was a bit of, it was immortal. So he's okay. I don't know how much damage it takes to die, but we'll see what happens. Well, that got blown up fast. I'm all gonna be honest with you. I don't know how much I, I feel like when, when every time I feel like I know it's gonna kill stuff, I apparently am completely wrong about what actually could kill stuff. Cause I'm like, I'm not sure that will kill it actually, and then it died. I I just need to fully un I need to understand better how all this works. Oh, it's a good thing she took minimal damage there. They've got a sensor lock on me. Ah, oh, dang! I hate those sensor locks. Missed her a couple of them, we got hit him with a stray shot. Yeah. Alright, Behemoth. I would like to get you into cover, but, all, but also make it so you can actually fire at what I need you to fire at. Fortunately, to get her to fire what I need her to fire right now, we put her into the open. I don't want to do that. I want to get her under cover. Then have her be able to fire back. Fire, fire! Here it comes. Aye, aye. 
I can move her up and put you to put her into range of the turrets. Unless I move here, I could sprint here, but she'd still have that same problem. Bracing though, let's see. Let's move and then brace, I think is what we're gonna do. I might allow her to survive the, the attacks. The spider's being attacked, but she's under cover. She's okay. Glitch. I hear ya. You can't fire what I need you to fire it, so I need you to move. I'd like to get you to cover if I can. So while you can fire what I need you to fire it from there. Can I fire it? Mm. I guess I'll have her fire at some of the stuff in the open here. Got it. Fire! Come Medusa, uh, can I get you under cover? Yeah, I think I can. I think this is claims it's cover, so we'll do that. Copy that. Okay. I th good. You can hit there. Actually, apparently it's the equal act of hitting both of them. I'm going to go for the bulldog, I think. Copy that. Yeah, they're both under cover. It doesn't surprise me. Oh, well. I'm surprised that's considered part of the forest. It looks like he's not saying it at all. Reporting major armor loss. Oof. Look, as I was able to survive the attacks, no problem there. At least that is particular attack. I'm taking internal damage. Armor broken. Internal damage. Standing by. I blip attack. Snipe him. They didn't do quite as much damage as I was hoping for. So no cover if I go down the hill like I want to. But I can move. So what's the route? So it looks like I can move a little bit closer to where I want to go. Uh, but I can jump and that'll be put me into cover. I'm closer to where I need it to be. Or I can just move. Wait, there's cover right there. Perfect. So I can attack these guys, but not the other ones. So which one has... They both seem to be relatively healthy, so I'll fire this one. If I do precision shot, may not be worth it. A little bit of damage. Yeah, these energy weapons are really crappy. Unless like the PPC, which is like, that one's... That one's nice. The only advantage, I guess, is that they're cheaper to maintain because they don't require ammo, ammo to use. That should still be cover, I think. Should be doing the job what I usually have the Medusa doing. Long range firepower! One more volley and that'll be destroyed. Medusa, I'm gonna move you into position. Looks like that will allow him to start firing at the turret generators, which is good for me. I think that will allow us to, I think that one will finish off this one. So we'll fire. Firing. Ah, the 50 missed, so it's almost dead, but not quite there. Hmm. 
I hope I hope Medusa doesn't suffer the same fate that I did. Oh my, this episode's 15 minutes long already, and this may take longer than I expected. Well, the spider's safe. Alright. He's getting pretty abused. Hopefully, once I start taking out those turret generators, the, the, the amount of firepower going after them will reduce. So, Behemoth, can she fire yet? Or does she need to move still? I think she still needs to move. Uh, can you fire at anything still? You can fire at these ones. Okay. But not the turret generator. Either the turret generators, which is what I would rather have you fire at. So the bulldog looks like it's the wheat one that's the most likely to die of being hit, but she can't hit it. What? Sorry, that happened. I'm here. Attack! Boom, Shaka Laka, you did it, Locust. Good job. Vehicle trash. I wish you had ammunition, because I think that'd make you even better. They've blown past my armor. And now glitch with her LRMs are the perfect to go next. No, if I can move her, honestly, that'd be even more ideal. I just got the. I can. I might just have to move her into a position where she's susceptible to being fired at. No, we'll play it safe with her for now. Uh -huh. It just means it might take a little bit longer, but it's better than losing her unnecessarily. He, I think I've just got to keep him where he is, unfortunately. I would like to move him. By... I'm going to gain guarded and entrenched using vigilance, and then I'm going to attack. Or I guess I can't do that? Never mind. Let's do two attacks. One against him, this one. Why can't you attack? Alright, so this one I'm just going to fire my 5 plus first. There we go, destroy one of the turrets with that. I'm under heavy fire here. Next turn I'm gonna jump him, I think. He's definitely not safe where he is. Considering how much he's getting blasted. Right leg destroy, that's a problem. Okay, Behemoth, uh, can you fire at this? You can, oh, um, oh, I was about to do something that's dangerous there. But you can't, you can't attack from where you are, right? You have to, I have to move you. What I could do is I could move her into melee and try and have her punt him. I don't know how well that will do, though, but it might work. See if that just one shots it maybe. Even the spice that she has to do a lot of damage. Ah, didn't kill it. Like I hoped it would. Sprint. Understood. Moving fast. Gotta get her to assist in dealing with those vehicles. That should give her lots of evasion too. Glit. Oh, it's not Glitch's turn yet. Like I hoped. Man, Blackjack is getting uh, Armor beat, beat up right now. He's definitely suffer suffering the misfortune. I think this one. It, we're gonna. I think we could attack this one and finish it off. That'd be really good. Yes, it was the it was that sniper tower turret. I knew it was one of these two on the right side would do it. Once I saw the left one destroy that one, I'm like, maybe the right one destroy the one on the right. And I was right. And they're desperately trying to kill him. Damn it. I've got an armor breach. 
Stand up. Wait, should I jump to cover? Oh no, I can't jump to cover. Well, I can't jump to the cover, but I'm not sure if it's safer down there. Or it's just me moving here and then bracing. Well, I think that's a good idea. Maybe moving a little bit away. A little bit of damage there, looks like, but she's okay. She's buff. Let's do blip first. Charge the scorpion and fuck it up! Hopefully, you went undercover. I don't think she did, though. That did not go as well as planned. Order. There we go. Destroy that vehicle. Reporting one left vehicle. This is what that scorpion's gonna do. Did a little bit of damage, I think, but not a crazy amount. Structure damage. I glitch. What can I do for you? Focus on this one because I think it's going to weaken the one on the right side, which would be good for us. Awesome. Alright, Medusa. I think here is going to be the best spot for you, especially if we can get you to fire that la that turret generator. I think they'll make it so he won't be fired upon anymore, at least from turrets. Perfect! Yet that one, by the sound of it, was to the right. Which means that, well, I guess that one's still firing, but not at him anymore. Better than nothing. My internals are taking a beating. I'm here. I blip. Attack him. Or oh, did she not melee like I tried to order her to do? That's awkward. I beam with. Take him out. Go move boss. There we go. Vehicle I hear ya. I glitch. You don't really have anything else in range, so we're not can see how far can you jump? Or how far can you sprint? You can sprint it into cover, so that's good for me. Good enough for me. But we'll do that. You can't sprint because you lost your leg. But you can jump, I think, into cover, right? No, but we can move. I'm going to hopefully. I don't want to get anything blown up by anything if I can help it. I just got to trust Nard of the cards, I guess. Damn it. My mech is limping. Nothing we can do about that, Buckaroo. Can you actually hit that? Oh, you can. Might as well blow it up then. Right, Let's just turn now. She's gonna sprint this way. Got it. Back speed, no shooting. We don't need to really worry about taking out that last turret at this point. Standing by. Can you melee that? No, never mind. She can't melee that. Oh well. Now I just have a brace. I have the behemoth move up now. I'm going to keep her under cover just to be on the safe side and have her fire at the gate. Locking on target. There we go. One left target. I have orders. Can you jump down? Yeah, I guess we'll start having you jump down then. Firing jump jump. And brace. And glitch. On you, Commander. you will just keep sprinting in the direction I need you to go. 
you're gonna have to like catch up with the rest of the team. We don't know where the prisoner. Oh, the prisoners are over there. So the most safe assumption is is that there is going to be enemies around here, and I don't know if there's any cover. It's one reason I'm worried about having Glip go by herself inside. So I think I'm gonna try and sp I'm gonna hug the wall and point in a direction, I guess. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. Prison warden, all direct air personnel to action stations. Gods damn it, this is not a drill. Static. Looks like you got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. Warden must have held a lands in reserve. Well, that's not good. Oh, there's cover right here. No, wait. They probably cover. Okay, they do. It is cover. Okay, good. Ooh. I was worried from what that wasn't going to be. There's going to be no cover there. Is this? I don't think it's in range to attack, so it's just got to be cover. The mechs don't seem to be on the best health right now, at least. I want glitch because glitch can, can potentially get into position. Oh, glitch can't move from there. Oh no, I have to have a jump, which is not good. Uh -huh. Not good because that means she can't fire afterward. Wait, never mind, she can. But only has a 10% chance of hitting. It's not really going to be worth it. Let's try and set to lock him then. Oh, I guess he's out of range of that, so we'll just brace. So another you'd think of max there. Thankfully, the brace enabled her to just not die. Commander. Here we go. I don't think there's anyone in range for him to fire at, so it's just going to be a hop and then a, then a brace. Sensor lock is out of range, it looks like. So I see one, two, three. Where's the fourth? There's the fourth one. So I'm gonna move her over here to do some cover. Acknowledge. That thing is jumping on the up on the wall. Looks like sensor locked. Waiting for order. Let's see. Up there it doesn't really have any cover now, does it? See, where she is is actually the safest place to be. So I'm just going to have her break. Bulwark. She got bulwark, it looks like. No, it's just passive. Okay, so she can move and gain some defenses. So I think what I'm going to move. Also have her again move against the wall here for cover. And then have her cut. And then have her brace. Now to make her very tanky. He's now entrenched and guarded with the bulwark. Oh, still a little bit of damage, all the same. Reporting internal damage. I need glitch to get in here ASAP. Don't need to tell me twice. Unfortunately, not enough range on any of them. Can I even sensor lock him? No, too far. Looks like I might need to fall back with my locust and stuff like that when it gets back to their turn. Did she assume she's not dead? Oof. You didn't really have any weapons. If I'm being honest with you, that was kind of one of my big regrets. Was the fact that I didn't need to kind of 
didn't realize you didn't have any ammo. So you're kind of just sitting there taking one for the team, quite honest, literally, on the, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna get her out of here. All right, full speed. The safest place she can be outside the walls. They got a sensor lock on me. Commander. I'd rather not keep you here by yourself, so I'm gonna have her run. I might, I mean, might just have her sprint. And then, I guess that might be okay. Should be to the safe to the side too, just not the back. Brace. Looks like they're still gonna fire at the Locust, even outside in cover, but Looks like she's okay. Crap, that, shot went internal. that was minimal damage it looked like, so... Good to go. Can you, even, can you ha attack him? You can, but you don't really have a good shot angle on him, so I'd rather ha move in a little bit more. And blow him up with my shadow hook! I'm sorry for the long episode, guys. This is not my intention. Fire! So focusing on the spider. Thankfully though, she's my tanky girl. She didn't seem to take any damage there. Really heavy damage. Look like you weren't even touched. Unless unless I'm reading the wrong thing. I can have him jump and get him further in. Use that instead of his legs. Can you attack at all? No. You sensor lock? No, to uh, a range too. Okay. Good, they missed. We're the Orion people. Wait, does that mean we have reinforcements? Come, Mia. You're on the other side of the enemy. We can't provide adequate support when you're that far away. Should have thought this through. Apparently, this is though this is not cover. No surprise. There's only one tree, but I'm at least gonna try using it for cover. Well, I'm gonna focus part of that centurion for now. I may regret not putting into brace though. Oh. I regret actually that choice of moving her in like that. Cause she's been sensor locked now. Aye, aye. I'm gonna keep her in into this area. I'm I want to keep her from keeping Behemoth like some heat off of the Behemoth. So I'm gonna run her around a little bit. I should have I should have just done a move. Camille will get some, go take some of the heat off of us, but not the ideal situation there. To where are you going? Oh no! Left and right arms were destroyed. Waiting on you, Commander. Jadok, you gotta get there. Fuck him up. Compared to what is the other target? Stop. Uh, what about you? Or you? Uh, you best target. Fire everything! All out of long range missiles, Commander. I need to get a fuck to fall back. No! We need to get you out of there, Behemoth. I can't afford to let you die. Not Commander. Behemoth. Yes, Commander. I'm the Commander here. <laughs> I 
So if I move here, apparently I'll have a, I, I will have a shot. I have fire! I did hurt him at least. I need I need it to be Behemoth's turn right now. Don't fire at Behemoth! No! Left leg destroyed too! I'm going over. No! Yeah, I knew I was gonna regret not great not bracing okay, her. I'm wounded. Oh no. Flip. I'm gonna have you sprint. Maybe distract the enemy a little bit. Maybe that'll stop him from firing at her. No! 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 They killed Behemoth! Damn you, bastards! Ah, uh, that was my. That was. Vengeance will be mine, asshole. Behemoth, she did such a good job. But, ah, uh, if only Blip wasn't so useless, and mostly due to the fact that I didn't, apparently she doesn't have any weapons on her. I'm losing weapons. Yeah. I'm here. Can I get him onto that the cover area? No, it looks like I can't get him under cover. Frustrating. If I move here, he can fire, but if I, but he might die. All right, fire! Dang it, if, if Behemoth hadn't been knocked down, she would have been alive, but if I hadn't put her into that position, she would have been alive too. Blackjack's gonna take some damage there. Oof. That shot got past my armor. Lich is the only one in the mech that she's usually in. The blip, I think that's the one I would, that's the, uh... Yikes! That hit hard! I'm here. I need you to go up and melee him if sacrifice... I, uh, I should have used blip as the distraction instead. Dang it. Oh well. I'm sad to see Behemoth go. If I was doing a recording, this would be like where I save Scumbag. No, Behemoth! Waiting for orders. My glitch, this is where we show them our, our justice punch! That one should be destroyed. Good to go. 
Dang it, I can't get him into the safe spot. He, what can, I, can I jump him into the safe spot? Yes, I can. I say safe spot, but I mean safe error spot, more accurately. Missed, unfortunate. Reporting negative damage. So you heal them, is what you're saying, if you do negative damage. I didn't seem to do too much at least. Oh, blip got b deleted. Honestly, oh. I wish the Vindicator and Centurion were still not in repairs right now. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I have you... You only have your short range attack, so... We just got to go to melee. That's the best shot you have for killing these guys. Come on, Kamiya. Be useful. Kill them. Yes! She killed him. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Well, punch him back. Well, I guess maybe it's not her turn. Can he fire? At least he can. Is my for difficulty good? I think it worked. I don't know. I don't think it worked. I think I should just fire normally. That's That long range missile guy is doing a lot of work. I glitch, you fuck him up. Now he's been knocked down. Left leg was destroyed. I, I like how they angle, we couldn't even see what was going on there. I just find that kind of funny. Now the lovely Shadowhawk is taking a lot of damage. I can understand that. Well... I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna move him and fire. Fire! Missed? Ah, damn it! Medusa! You had one job, and that job was to finish this guy off! Left arm and torso was destroyed. Now we can now you can't fire at all. Damn it. Got it. There we go. That's a kill. Not sure what Camille is doing right now. She's not being the too helpful with the way she's moving about, but you have no arms or legs left, so we're just gonna move you, and then we're going like, we're gonna move, and then we're going to just uh, 
We're gonna brace. So that guy, the way to get around would have to go this way unless I jump. Can I jump that far yet? No. So I can sprint and make it really hard harder for him to hit me, maybe. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm sad to have lost the behemoth there. She has been here since the beginning and she's been one of the best Mech pilots I've had so far. Standing by. Roger. He's like a one hit from dying. Brace. Maybe I should have actually used the one to defend that one to defend him. But they don't seem to be attacking, so. We have eyes on him. Where are you going? This isn't good. You can see daylight through my armor. That definitely doesn't sound healthy. Looks like he might be out of ammunition. Got a lock. All right, glitch. Well, lock him up. Left arm destroyed. Critical hit. Trying to move boss glitch. Does she, does she have a firing range? Yes, she does! Nice! Ooh. He's almost knocked prone. Where are you going? Oh, he's firing at her. Why didn't you do that before? Left leg's been destroyed. Is she gonna be knocked down? Oof. My mechs are going to need some time to be repaired now after this mission. So it's his turn now. I did not expect him to have ammunition left if he busy didn't do anything to actually fire. What did I hear over there? So she's lost multiple turns, it looks yeah. like, so... I'm, I don't want to... I don't, I'm not worried of killing him. Yes, Location confirmed. Why did Camille lose a turn, too? Come on, Camille. Left torso destroyed. What is he gonna what is he gonna do? Don't you dare kill beat glitch. I will find you and I will kill you! She's the badass. She's charging, kicking butt, taking names. Not too surprising, he did fall to the ground. I fire! Boom! Mech destroyed. 
The prison is ours. Thanks for the assistance, Lady Rado. I'll have Sumire bring us to uh, bring us down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating. Not after what I saw up there. God star us. The things that director has done to these people. Come, come here. I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better let you see for yourself and come here. Prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission, Mission successful. successful. And with that... The episode is going to be done for today. I did not expect this mission to take this mission to take so long. I probably should have expected the mission to take so long, but I didn't. So I apologize for the actual well, apologize or you're welcome for the uh, long episode. We lost Behemoth and we lost Glip, who was barely who's this is like her first mission or maybe a second mission, one of the two. Locus, locus, the locust claims of the victim. The spider claims his first victim. Uh, it's unfortunate to see it too. Uh, like on, it annoys me more about her dying. It is the simple fact that I, it was so easy to have been avoided if I was just a little bit, um, if I was just a little bit, um, I was just a little bit smarter about it. We might, I'm more, we might need more ammunition, too. We did not get as much ammunition as I was hoping there, but oh well. We have others to replace them, but I will miss Behemoth. Glip, I didn't have enough time to get emotionally attached to her, but Behemoth, she was the bulwark, the strength of our lines. Glitch was the fire powerhouse. The mentor uh, ca character was alive the whole time, but is now fully dead. The honor restoration, the ice box, well, three. Come here, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock. To die wretched and broken in agony. A hero story sh So my options are, a hero story shouldn't end like this, nobody should. I knew Sir Roger longer than either of you. I'll avenge him, I promise that. Your cousin is Lady Victoria, she told him she'd make him suffer. I'm gonna go for... I mean, I'm gonna, this one seems a little bit more glam, I'm gonna go with this one. The avenging, I'm gonna avenge him. We'll avenge him together. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. What they've done here is monstrous. Is mo inhuman. Aren't devils wrong, Alexander? The icebox isn't a prison, it's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family's behind this. What? And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Coral Murir to galvanize your supporters to weaken Espinosa's popularity there. So, uh, basically, galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. Or Espinosa stole the throne at gunboard. How much popularity could he have? I'm going to go for I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Serona have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Coromedia's population supports Director Espinosa. In such blazing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably. And people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Wild Street, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be brought or bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. Pre-Nova became of the people who were made to disappear. 
and soon enough, the whole reach will know it too. The momentum is on our side, come here. We need to take advantage of it. Hopefully he doesn't have too much speaking. My throat's starting to get a little tired of his voice. You're right. This isn't the time for hand wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there on the other side of the uh, at the other end of the battlefield. The work crews all hunched and broken. The graveyards, the great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretch as far as the eye can see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. So the background has an infantry mark, sir. I could say I picture I could picture it well enough. I sure. I saw my share of gulags during my tour of the in the of the inner spear. Espinosa is a monster. This confirms it. We've set the people free. In the end, that's what matters. I must say I can picture well enough. I'm sure you did, Firma. The director doesn't have a monopoly on cruelty, but before my uncle's coup, the Oregon Reach was better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Rano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow some shit up. Use your imagination. Shit. Use your imagination. The key is you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief Vertinen. You have a good crew for my. I have a news time for you and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be spaceworthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to, be, to serve a symbolic purpose. A sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano Koromora and all to see. I was naive. This is time for action, not symbols. And so, Firmar, I've decided that she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madaria will join you to act as my liaison. And in return, you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that will... I will hold to the director its throat. In that case, congratulations, you've got yourself a navy. Sounds good to me later on. We'll transition to Argo directly. Guess I got a new ship. Here's hoping she doesn't fall apart on me. I'm going for the last one. I like that one. <laughs> I'm betting my life that you won't. Now please come here. Go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary. <laughs> And you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Our people can tend to the wounded. We need you to f too strong for the fight ahead. He's calling my ship dirty! Fuck you! You're probably right, though. <laughs> <laughs> I will, Alexander. But not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. Ooh. People of the Oregon Reach. I am Kamea Arano. And I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning. While the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. Why we fight. Oh, I need to find a good stopping point. Jesus. All right. Dr. Farah Murad. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, 
I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farah Murad, or just Farah if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm going to call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. I sh you should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you've seen what I saw, you would never have wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me. The ship has been de loused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. This ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear. Respectively, Dr. Murad, I couldn't care less how clean ship is. I lost a friend today. Thanks for I'm sure we all hope that we'll appreciate it. Clean is good. Space worthy is better. Are you sure there are arguments ready for action? I'm going to go for the second option. The first one just seems like I asked, even though it is true. I'm pleased to hear it, and I'm glad we're getting off the right, on the right foot. It isn't every day that you get to introduce your crew, new crew mate to the ship you just rebuilt. New crewmates, you know something we don't. Hang on a second, Doc. This is my company. I said who is not on my crew. Hear that, Yang? We're finally getting a shipboard engineer. <laughs> I like I like the third one option. Yeah, it's good, because I don't have a clue how anything on this boat works. Frankly, I'm amazed that Doc Moran meant you to flying at all. I'm still a little amazed myself. Only a little, because I'm very good at what I do. But it was kind of a touch and go up there for a while. And, oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all that shouting back on Axelus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. Hard feelings. None at all. Keep this beast flying and you can heal me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You Tom, too, my Daria. I, I ma never imagined we working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Livia. Over the years of your exile, Lady Rhino told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in her father's vigilder campaign did not go unnoticed. The Dolger being uh, the colony world, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was a good job, La Lord Madaria. I don't think I pronounced his name at all right. We only did what High Lord Tamati paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated. And to let someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. You'll be a welcome addition aboard the Yargo, Lord Madaria. Eventually, I remember your name. Being remembered is the best that any mercenary can hope for. This is all heartwarming, but I want to see my new ship, damn it! <laughs> I'll do <a> welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you, Commander Game. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before later Rona is ready to move on Panzer. She needs to consolidate her forces on Raldry and replace her losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders, you have to sharpen your company and grow strong. Now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Kiyako. The whole Rimrol periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited by debris or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. You're telling me, we've been cooped up that, that little one, that one little patch of frontier for too damn long. We'd better put that freedom to good use. Won't be long before Lady Rhonda comes calling. How about it, Yang? You excited? I'm going to go for the second one. I like the idea of the freedom to good use. No, it won't. So let's quit talking and go explore our new ship. There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there. It's got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everybody. We're free agents until Lady Rhonda calls for us. And there's money to be made. The Argo is not in good shape, Commander. But at the time, at money and some... Chief Vertinan's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even this place nice again. I'll be an agent if you want to know more. Lady Arano said that she wanted us to get stronger. Well, with these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mechs from the missions and shops and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. Remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. The behemoth has died. I know. It's a true tragedy. Blip has also died. We've lost the behemoth. She was the best of us. The fortress here are gone. After all the injuries she after all that she's done for us. Blip has died. She did not serve very long. But and she died in her first deployment, but that was partially due to my own problem fault. And of course, Decker. 
he was our first casualty. Our first casualty showing us the horrors that it is. Damn LRM carriers. <laughs> we lost two pilots and a defender. I, uh, Miss Behemoth. Rest in spaghetti. Never forget. And those of you at home, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. If you guys like the video, press the like button down below. Go over to comment in the comment section down below. And subscribe to see more of my content. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.